Welcome to Internet Quality Academy. The channel is for the quality control engineer, site engineer, and the civil engineer who are working in the construction field. In this channel, we are dealing with anything and everything which is required to get success in the construction. Today also, I'm going to discuss about a very important topic that is grading zones of sand. What is grading zone of sands and why it is important and how it is impacted on the concrete mix design. In this channel, I'm in this video, I'm discussing each and everything in detail. So stay tuned until the end to get the full information and if you are new on my channel kindly subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever i upload a new video you will get immediate notification so without wasting time let's jump into the subject that is grading zone of sand now what is grading zone of sand that we need to know the grading of sand which refers to the distribution of particle sizes now what does it mean now according to the ice code that is in me aggregate which is lower than 4.75 millimeter is referred to as sand or the fine aggregate but it is not only contains the 4.75 mm particles it contains 2.36 1.18 Four for 600 micron, 300 micron, 150 micron. So there are different size of uh, particles in a um, sand or uh, aggregate or the fine aggregate. So how the percentage of the different size of aggregates according to that the composition and then the properties is changing. So according to the percentage of the different size of particle in a um, sand or the fine aggregates there are different zones so in our is indian IR code that is 383 2016 has defined that there are four zones of sand in the india so what is the four different zones they have classified that is zone one zone two zone three zone four and what is the differentiate is that that whenever we are doing sieve analysis for the particle size distrib distribution, we need to do the sieve analysis. And how to sieve analysis? I think everybody knows so that we will not discuss. So whenever we are doing the sieve analysis, so what will be the sieve size? 10 mm, 4.75, 2.36, 1.18, 600, 300, and 150 micron. Now, whenever we are doing the sieve analysis, there are different, different particle sizes there, and there will be different percentage will be retained. So whenever the percentage passing is there, according to that, we mentioned there are four zones, zone one, zone two, zone three, zone four. That means there are different distribution of different particles in our sand or a fine aggregate. So we have four zones. Now, why this four zone differentiated and what is the uses of that and what is the impact on concrete mix design or the different, uh, this type of zone, then we'll discuss these things. So why grading of sand is important that we need to know that is it is affecting the workability, strength and durability, water demand and economy. So we need to choose very precisely that what grading zone of sand we will use in our concrete or in our mortar or in the plaster so first thing we need to think about the workability what properly graded sand helps achieve to desired workability of concrete the concrete mix of particle size ensures that the concrete mix is cohesive and workable making it easier to place and finish so if it is a well graded or there is a no gap grade that means maybe the one size of particle is more and another is very less it's not matching this uh, table so what will happen this will less the workability and it is not will be workable and it will increase making it not easier or uh, finish so that is also important for the grading that workability is directly effect or workability directly uh, proportional to the gradings or the particle size distribution. So that is why grading of zone is important that we need to know what type of sand we are using. So accordingly, the workability will be changed. So then strength and durability. The grading of sand affects the strength and durability of the concrete. Well-graded sand can improve the compactness and reduces voices in the concrete, enhancing its structural integrity and longevity. So it's the same things, if the particles are well-graded, that means 
the voids is less. If the voids is more, that means it's not well graded. That means grab graded. What will happen? The uh, voids or pocket will be there inside the concrete and the strength and durability will not achieve. So that is why you need to know that the well graded and every particles or every size of the particles is proportionately available in the sand. That is why strength and durability is a concern and it is directly effect on the grading size of the sand. Then water demand. The water demand of the concrete is influenced by the grading of sand. Properly graded sand can reduce the amount of water required, leading to the stronger and more durable concrete. See, without water, we cannot make the concrete. But if the water is more or if the water is less, again, it is affect the concrete strength and durability. So that is why we need to choose every particle or every ingredient of the concrete very precisely. That is why we need to know what grade of, what grading size or what zone sand we are using in the concrete. So if it is well graded sand, then mean it is influenced by the water demand. So again, poorly graded sand can reduce the water required and leading to the stronger and more durable concrete. So we need to know what type of sand or what grade of sand we are using and accordingly the water percentage will also can be calculated. And that it is also economical. Using well graded sand can reduce the amount of cement required for the concrete mix as the improved workability and compaction lead to better strength with less blind binder material so that is for your from economic point of view that is a grading of zone is very much important that is why whenever we are doing any mixed design or whenever we are getting con uh, sand from the sources at the side first we need to know what grade of sand it is or to what on which zone it is uh, falling and accordingly we need to choose our uh, right kind of material or uh, proportion so that is why the sand grading is very important and we need to know and then comparison of different zone see particle size of distribution see here we are saying that there are four zones zone one zone two zone three zone four now why what is the difference of the between zone one zone two and zone three zone four that we will discuss what is the particle size distribution in the zone one is that contains larger particles which provides better bonding and less void content result in stronger concrete due to reduced water cement ratio and improved compaction. See here we can see, see 10 mm is 100% passing, 4.90 to 100, 2.60 to 90% in according to see here is passing is 95 to 100%. That means here retention is more. That means the bigger particle is there in zone 1 and zone 2 compared to zone 3 and zone 4 because here it is passing 95 to 100 so that is it is content larger particle which provides better bonding and less void content results in stronger concrete due to reduce water cement ratio and improve compaction then what is zone 2 particle distribution size has a balanced mix of particle sizes offering good workability and adequate strength suitable for general construction work uh, providing a balance between ease of handling and performance see from here you can save zone 2 see them well well defined and Properly, uh, particle size is by balanced way. It is mixy 100, 90, 75, 55. Here it is 60 and 30. Here, this particle 2.6 particle is more, but here it is again oh, 2.66 and 1.18 is properly balanced. Here, see more finer particle. So, that is why we are always using the zone 2. Zone are also you are using, but zone 2 is always preferable. And then, what is zone 3? Zone 3 is includes finer particles that fill voids between coarser aggregate, enhancing smoothness and finish lower strength compared to coarser sand due to higher water demand and potentially for increased shrinkage. So it, it is uh, very much difficult if you are using concrete, but we are using concrete with taking the precautions. And this zone 4 is the finer particle, just like a dust that comprises very fine particles leading to higher water demand to achieve workability may result in weaker concrete with more shrinkage and less durable due to higher void content and lower compaction efficiency. So, according to the work, uh, particle de size distribution, we can see the zone 1, zone 2 is the larger particle and balanced way of distributed the um, different uh, size of particles. In zone 3, or uh, zone 4 is more finer particle. That is why zone 1, zone 2 we are using for the concrete and zone 3 for the plaster, mortar, etc. according to the requirement. So, that, that is the difference between the particle size distribution of different four zone. 
Then what is the water cement ratio? In zone one and zone two, what is this? Reduces the overall water cement or demand for the concrete mix. Lower water cement ratio contributes to the higher strength and durability. So if you're using zone one or zone two sand, what will happen? It will reduce the water demand. So water cement ratio will be reduced. That will be helpful for the strength and the durability. But for zone three and zone four, increase the water demand because it's the finer particle and uh, achieve the desired work with higher water demand ratio can weaken the concrete and the strength and durability is a concern that is why zone one zone two is more important and compaction and voids uh, point of view zone one and zone two enhances compaction reducing the amount of voids in concrete fewer void leads to dense concrete with higher compressive strength and better durability but when if it is a zone three and zone four more difficult to compact fully leading to higher void content increased voids can act as weak joint so these things for the voids and compaction also we can see the zone one and zone two is more more uh, prone to give the good strength or the durability so that is we are using for the concrete zone three and zone three we are not using the concrete but we are using with a proper uh, pre precaution and the correction then the workability already we discussed that uh, zone one zone two has the Larger particle for that is provided optimal workability without excessive water. So it is not required the excess water, but it is giving the excellent workability. That is why zone and zone two are using for the concrete. And then high workability may be achieved, but at the cost of increased water content, excess water can lead to segregation and bleeding, adversely affecting the strength and durability. So we are using zone three and zone four, or um, it we need to take very precaution against uh, segregation and bleeding. Ice code are saying zone 4 is not uh, suitable for the concrete, but zone 1, zone 2 is okay. But zone 3 can also be used but with proper, proper precaution. Then it is coming shrinkage and cracking. Already we discussed that zone 1 and zone 2 has less prone to a lower shrinkage due to reduced water content, less prone to cracking contributing to the long-term durability of the concrete. Higher shrinkage potential due to increased water content, greater risk of cracking. So what will happen if there is a crack and if it is not uh, properly cured, what will happen? From this crack, the chloride ion, sulfate ion, moisture, carbon dioxide, it will increase inside the concrete and what will happen when it will reach to the reinforcement that the chloride induced corrosion or the carbon induced corrosion or the carbon dioxide induced corrosion will happen and if the corrosion will happen there will be corrosion and the volume will be changed and there will be a thermal crack in the concrete and the strength and durability will be a problem and the longevity will also be a problem that is why from that point of view durability is in case zone one is always advisable and zone three and zone three is not advisable although we can use with proper precaution then the last but not the least that is what is the use of different zones of sand first thing zone one we are suitable for concrete mixes as already we discussed that is it's a less shrinkage less water demand the properly graded and water water cement ratio is less so that is suitable for concrete mix requiring hiring strength and durability such as foundation beams and columns and zone two offers a good balance between workability and strength making it versatile for various construction applications so most of the construction application or most of the construction concrete is used by the zone two sand it is the ideal one and what is the zone three provides a finer textures and good workability for plastering and rendering because it's the finer particles so whenever it is a fire required for the plastering or the architectural finish it is always advisable to use zone 3 and zone 4 used for specific application requiring very very fine particles such as grout thin plaster layers and certain precast concrete product that is if it is a very specific application and thin particles that is zone 4 are using that is why ice code has differentiated different zone zone 1 zone 2 zone 3 each and every uh, area of sand has their own uses and uh, merits and demerits but in the construction for the concrete zone 1 zone 2 and widely used zone 3 is also used and zone 3 for never using it should take the proper precaution and zone 4 
it's uh, advised to avoid. So these are the thing about the grading zone of the cement, uh, of sand, different zone, why it is important and what is the different zone and what is the different application. And I hope you find this information is useful. And if you find it useful, can you subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever I upload any video, you will get immediate notifications. And I'm waiting for your valuable comment so that from your comment, everybody will be benefited. And if you want to know anything more about quality and construction, please let me know. I'll come with more content like this. And thank you once again for watching me.